In today's video, I'm going to teach you a few different ways to create drop down menus in Excel. You can see here that we're in Excel and I've got two questions that I want to create drop down menus for. The first one is going to be a really simple question of did you find this video useful? And it will be a really simple yes or no answer. And the second one of what will you do next? We're going to give them a lot more choices here. So this is a bit more of a complex drop down menu, um, but we're going to start with the simple one first. So you can see here under, did you find this video useful? We're going to select on the cell next to that, which is cell B3. And then up the top, we're going to select on our data tab. And on the right hand side of the data tab, there's this little section called data tools. There is this one with a green tick and a red cross called uh, data validation. And we're going to drop this down and we're going to choose the option of data validation. From here, this dialog box pops up. And what you want to do is drop down the option where it says any value. And we're going to tell it we want to use a list instead. And because this is a simple yes or no, um, instead of having to tell it a source, we're going to select on the option of source and simply type in yes, comma, no. And this is going to tell it there's two options, yes or no, and simply select on OK. What you'll notice is the little drop down menu pops up here and you can simply choose now on yes or no and put in your answer. The second one is a bit more complicated. We're going to have four options here. And the question is, what will you do next? What I recommend is when you have longer options, put them on a separate page. So here I've got sheet number two and we have four options of like, subscribe, comment or share. Let's jump back to sheet number one. Select on the option of where we want to have that drop down menu. Again, select on the data tab, go over to data validation. We're going to drop it down again and choose on list. This time though, we're going to select on this up arrow where it has the source. We're going to jump over to sheet number two. Then we're simply going to highlight these four options. And you'll see here data validation says we're going to find the answer from sheet two and it's highlighted those four options. Then we're simply going to select on the enter option again and select on OK. So this is saying it's pulling the information from sheet two, go OK. And then when we drop that option down, you can see here you have the four options of like, subscribe, comment and share. I think next thing we're going to do is give this video a like. Um, and there you go. Those are two ways that you can create drop down menus in Excel. You can stop the video watching here, or if you want, I can teach you a few extra tips as well. I'm going to select on the top one right now, and I'm going to jump back into our data validation tool. And then from here, we're going to get a little bit more complicated with it. So we've created this as a yes or a no, but you can also put in things like an input message or even an error alert. For now, I'm going to just teach you what the uh, input message looks like. We can add a title on this. What the input message does, I've just called this demo and wrote this is a simple message, is that when you select on that cell, you get this quick bit of information. So this would give people a bit more information about what they're actually choosing. And it's a really nice, easy way to give just that little bit more detail if there's a bit of clarity or ambiguity that you have with that question. Um, so it's very easy to select on it and you can have just a quick sticky note with a bit more information. The other option I'm going to show you is the error message. So let's go ahead and delete that for now. Um, we're going to select on the cell one more time. Now we're going to select on data validation of the second cell. We're going to select on the error message this time. You have three styles of error message, which is stop or a warning sign or an information sign. I'm going to use the information. I'm going to add a quick title. And then I've just called this try again and I've written the error and written the error message of looks like you input an invalid field, please try again, or whatever you want the error message to be. I'm going to select on OK. So if I use the drop down menu and use it correctly, you get no error. But if someone puts in something like just random characters and they hit enter, they actually get this error message saying try again, looks like you input an invalid field, please try again. So they can go, OK, and then they can actually try it one more time. And there you go. That is how you can create simple and a little bit more complex drop down menus in Excel.